नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑनली ऑन भारत ऑफिस दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड यूनिक मैनर फाइ द एक्सपर्ट साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स भारत ऑफ फर्स्ट प्रोवाइडिंग यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आस्क योर डाउट बाय द फॉर्म हुज लिंक हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो डू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम आवर साइंस एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर हु इज हेयर विद अस टू एंसर द क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर इज अ सीनियर मोस्ट साइंटिस्ट एट विज्ञान प्रसार न्यू दिल्ली ही इज ऑल्सो द फाउंडर ऑफ इंडिया साइंस वायर सो लेट्स बिगे इन दिसन विथ टूडेज क्वेश्चन Today's question is: What are the objective of National IPR policy? National Intellectual Property Rights Policy. I mean, it's a policy uh, which is uh, a vision document uh, encompassing and bringing all aspects of uh, intellectual property rights in one platform. This policy has been uh, made by uh, Government of India recently. So, first, let us understand what is this IPR, intellectual property right? Okay. uh intellectual property right refers to creation of uh, uh, uh mind such as uh, uh, inventions literacy artistic work design symbols okay names images which are used in uh, uh, commerce okay so it uh, provides a property right through patent or copyrights or trademarks like if you are looking at the land the property right of uh, land is uh, provided by what is called as patta right that gives you a legal uh, right over that piece of land similarly the intellectual property is uh, provided by patent copyrights and trademark okay so the people who hold this uh, will have the monopoly in uh, using that as a property okay they can rent they can sell yeah and uh, it's been claimed that uh, the intellectual property rights uh, a regime for intellectual property rights is uh, necessary to encourage invention innovation provide uh, economic growth okay and also safeguard the rights of creator which is uh, known okay and will also ease the uh, doing of business because you know if somebody is holding that right you can go and ask that person buy that right and then use it if not you might be always scared that somebody will come and uh, slap a case against you for infringement of somebody else right right okay and it will also facilitate transfer of technology because if there is a proper uh, rights then technology can be transferred right so these are all uh, stuff the uh, paris there is a international convention uh, which uh, was established in paris in 1883 that is a starting point of intellectual property right at uh, uh, like uh, uh, internationally similarly for artistic work uh, the bern convention of 1886 is the founding stone these are all the international regime so if you look at the ipr broadly one can uh, divide this into two things copyrights and intellectual property industrial property so copyrights uh, are related to artistic work for example copyright of uh, your book you write a book you have the copyright as author because you created it right so you wrote it uh it may be a literary work it may be a book explaining something it may be a textbook it can also be like a music it can also be a, a like a painting okay so all kinds of artistic work uh or creative uh, uh, work will come into literary work will come into copyright so when you look at industrial property there are broadly two big categories one is distinctive signs things like say for example trademark okay so the tata trademark if somebody uses then it's a infringement because the uh, buyers will mistake that they are buying tatas but they'll be buying somebody else right so uh, the trademark is a infringement okay trademark is one kind of a uh, sign which is uh, uh, given as a industrial property nowadays internationally there is also uh, agreement that uh, geographical indication like say for example basmati rice suppose if somebody cultivates a crop in uh, let's say karnataka and say that this is basmati rice that will be kind of slightly fake right because basmati is something that is grown in certain parts of north india like uttarakhand and so on right or if somebody grows uh, some plant in africa and claim that as basmati rice right 
So now, internationally, people have agreed that uh, there'll be something called uh, geographical indicators for some of these kinds of uh, uh, products. Only if they are uh, uh, grown in a particular place or produced in a particular place, they will get that geographical uh, indication tag. So that also becomes an uh, industrial property. Then you have uh, uh, the second category where industrial designs and trade secrets. That is usually uh, 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 broadly put under patents, industrial designs and trade secrets. Okay. So patents are issued by the patent office, industrial designs are protected. Okay. Similarly, trade secrets are uh, protected. Right. So these are all uh, uh, various IPR area uh, which uh, comes into play. The uh, National Intellectual Property Rights uh, Policy of 2016, one wanted to create awareness on IPR because uh, the government felt that in India, there is not adequate awareness of uh, creating IPR. People do make uh, creative products, but then they don't register it. Okay, So which essentially means that uh, it can be exploited by people and uh, the person who created is not uh, benefited or the country is not benefited, economy is not uh, benefited. Okay, So one is to create awareness and then also generate IPR and also provide a legal and legislative uh, framework, administration and management, commercialization of IPR, uh, enforcement, ad uh, education, because if there is uh, uh, claims and counterclaims, you need a setup to resolve it uh, 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 as soon as possible. Also, human capital development. I mean, if you are talking about intellectual property, right, then there should be people who will be able to read the uh, documents, uh, make it uh, properly and so on, right? I mean, you need professionals, uh, legal professionals and other kinds of professionals. If you are looking at, for example, uh, science-related intellectual property, right, then people should also have some idea of science, okay? So uh, uh, you, you need to create uh, the uh, human capital. This was uh, the uh, broad uh, seven objectives of the uh, uh, intellectual property right uh, policy of 2016. Based on that, a patent amendment rule was uh, made, uh, which uh, said that there'll be a timely disposal of uh, uh, claims. Okay, And then it will also uh, uh, give rebate to a startup so that the startup would be able to uh, uh, actually get their IPR done, but without uh, uh, expending too much of money. Okay, uh, 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 including uh, things like uh, video conferencing is uh, being included in this uh, uh, hearing so that uh, the ease of uh, getting the IPR would be uh, uh, made easy. Otherwise, people may have to travel long distance to file and many times traveling to that place may not be possible for small producers, right? So that's uh, the that's idea. Similarly, a trademark uh, uh, amendment rule was made in 2017, where, for example, for doing ease of business, the forms were reduced from 74 to 8. Okay. There is online uh, filling of forms and so on were also brought in as part of this uh, National Intellectual Property Right uh, Policy 2016. So this policy is aimed at creating an environment in India for uh, uh, intellectual property movement and uh, create a conducive condi condition for uh, startups to emerge uh, uh, industry based on innovations to uh, come up, economy based on innovation to come up. 